This is one of multiple videos in my $100,000 home lab network series. Okay, last thing I wanna do is configure IP addresses on the devices. Uh, one of the things I wanna do in a subsequent video is upgrade the operating system of the switches. But for now, let's configure IP addresses. So start with the first core switch. You should obviously configure passwords, but I haven't done that yet. Interface VLAN one, if I can spell. No shut. IP address 10.1.1.101 slash 24. Show IP interface brief. You can see that the interface is up down. So interface VLAN one, no shut. Now this switch has routed interfaces. So show interface brief shows me that all the interfaces are routed. That means that the VLAN interface won't come up unless I disable routing on some of the interfaces. So I'm gonna disable routing on these two interfaces to the 6300. And then I'm gonna make sure that spanning tree is enabled. Show. IP interface brief. You can see that that interface is now up, up. Now just be careful with some of the switches. Notice spanning tree is disabled by default on the 8360s. These are actually data center switches. You wanna run routing protocols rather than spanning tree. But on the 6300s show spanning tree, you can see that spanning tree is actually enabled on that switch. So first thing is let's enable spanning tree on the second 8300 interface VLAN one. IP address 10.1.1.102 slash 24, no shut. Can we ping 10.1.1.01? The moment it says we can't, and once again, that's probably because I didn't make the interfaces switched ports. So no routing on this interface, no routing on this interface. Show interface brief. What you'll notice now is these are saying access native VLAN is VLAN one. Interfaces are up, running at 25 gig, 10.1.1.101. Can we ping the other switch? Now that's not gonna work because this is still a routed interface. So for the moment, I'll go onto that interface and make it a switched interface. That's the DAC cable between the two core switches. So I've made the one side switched or bridged. I've Still got to change the other side from routing to switched. So show interface brief. You can see it's now an access port, VLAN one running at 100 gig. These two interfaces, access ports, 25 gig. Go back onto the first switch, show interface brief. This is still routed. Those are access, so I need to make this an access port. So conf -t interface 11 slash five no routing, show interface brief. Those are now access ports. So I should be able to ping from the one core switch to the other, which I can. So can ping itself and can ping the second switch. So write memory, save the config. Second switch, write memory, save the config. On the 6300 switches, show interface brief bunch of interfaces, show IP interface brief. No IP address configured, interface VLAN one, IP address 10.1.1.103 slash 24. Can this ping the core switches? It says unreachable, probably forgot to no shut the VLAN. So no shut the switched virtual interface. So can I ping the core switch? Still unreachable, so show IP interface brief. It says no IP address. So let's look at our running configuration. What did I do wrong? Okay, it says IP address ignored when DHCP is enabled. Okay, so interface VLAN one, no IP DHCP. Does it work now? IP address is there, it's up, up. Can we ping the core switch? Yes, we can. Can we ping the other core switch? Yes, we can, so write memory. Go to the second switch, interface VLAN one or VLAN one rather, no shut. 
IP address 10.1.1.104/24. No IP DHCP. Try not make the same mistake again. Show IP interface brief. IP address is configured. So show run, and if I scroll all the way down, lots of interfaces. That's the configuration. Can we ping the first core switch? Yes, we can. Can we ping the second core switch? Yes, we can. Can we ping the first 6300? Yes, we can. We have IP connectivity in our topology now. So this IP address is 10.1.1.101 24. This is 102 24, 103 24, and 104 24. They are currently all in VLAN 1. At the moment, we're using spanning tree. We are not using routed interfaces. Makes more sense to use routed interfaces in a data center. But for this topology, that's okay. Spanning tree isn't as good as routing protocols. One of the problems we'll have is we will have some interfaces blocking and some forwarding. Now on the second 8360, all interfaces are designated and forwarding. So that may be the root switch, show spanning tree. This switch has a root port, so it's not the root switch. Let's make it the root. So spanning tree VLAN one, and let's set the priority to zero. It's set in multiples of 4096. Okay, it doesn't like that. So do show spanning tree. What version of spanning tree are we running? We are running multiple spanning tree. So. I was trying to configure a Cisco spanning tree rather than multiple spanning tree. So just be priority zero. Okay, so previously, if I scroll up, the priority of the root switch was this, the priority of this switch was that, had a different MAC address to the root switch. Show spanning tree now, this bridge is the root. Notice the MAC address is the same for root and bridge ID. All ports are designated and forwarding. On the second switch, they were all forwarding and all ports were designated, but the switch now has a root port because we've made the switch the root in our spanning tree topology. Much better to use routing protocols again, but you don't have that in a lot of campus networks. So show spanning tree on the second 6300, scrolling all the way down. And I'll just make this smaller because it doesn't show it very nicely. A lot of output in the spanning tree command. So scroll all the way down. What you'll notice is it has a root port and then it has a blocking port. One of the uplinks to the core switch is blocking. The same on the other access switch or 6300 switch. Show spanning tree. One port is forwarding. One port is blocking. We are not using both uplinks. So we should really use link aggregation or something else to improve this. Okay, so I'm gonna end the video at this point because it's getting very long. This is a series of videos. So I'm gonna show you a whole bunch of configuration. Let me know if you enjoy watching me build this network.